Good morning everyone, my name is Alex Dodd. Welcome to part 2 of episode 107 of Dodd's Diaries. Today is Sunday the 24th of September. It's now 9.16. And today, me second day in Blackpool, I do go back home tonight at 20 past 7. But what I will be doing in Blackpool today is tram bashing on the Heritage Day trams. Like I've done many times before. I'm going to buy an £18 day ticket. Go up and down the promenade on the old trams, as well as a couple of fat cities. Do some bit of sightseeing as well. Uh, hoping the weather stays alright. Uh, there has been some rain. There's a bit of sunshine out there, but there is some rain forecasted. Um, got a few of the trams due out today. I think one of the brush cars, one of the balloon trams, one of the Millennium ones. Um, part of the towing set. Um, the boat could come out today, but they might change that depending on the weather. I've had a nice, a little nice uh, overnight stay here in the Rockley Hotel. It's been lovely. Nice king size bed, actually, just somewhere a bed down for the night. And I've had myself a free breakfast. Had myself a breakfast this morning, free, because I'm on level two with Booting.com. So, I now I'm going to go and check out and then head out. And so out I go, I've um, left my bag with them and I'll pick that up about 6 o'clock-ish before I head to North Station. In the meantime I'm going to go straight to the front. So, good morning from Blackpool on a uh, pleasant Sunday morning. It's not often I'm here on a Sunday, but anyway, here I am. People start to wake up, have their breakfast, it's coming out the hotels. Tower there. Flexity 2 coming down. I'm just going to, I think, quickly jump on one just to get me ticket for today. bit of a, a rainbow out there which does mean that there is some rain out to sea just hoping it doesn't rain too heavily today there it does there's the first one coming down that's one of the Millennium trams it's one of the B fleet actually so these trams could actually work in replacement of the Flet City 2's and stop at the normal stations. You can see they've got the um, extended doors on each side. You'll see plenty of old trams today. Only two months ago, I was in Italy having a look at the old uh, trolley uh, trams over there in Milan. Seven one eight it is. I'm gonna catch this up to Bispam, my first ride of the day.
through Gin Square, and you can see those Spitfires are actually made by Airfix. Right, so I'm now up at uh, Bispam, that's the first ride of the day, that was Route E, Tram E. Next up is going to be Tram B, what I get, that'll be in about, I'd say 35 minutes time, I'm going to get that from here back down to North Pier. This marks the start of the illuminations from here all the way down to yeah, Stargate, well near there. We're going to have a look at the uh, Tabla display that's just all over there, gonna have a little walk along that, have a look. It's lovely when that's all on at night time, when the illuminations are on. Yep. See they've been doing restoration work on Bispam tram station of recent times. That is, there's now actually an open air terrace on the t a rooftop terrace up there to eat and drink. This is like a quieter alternative if you want little holiday in Blackpool and maybe come up here as a quieter alternative perhaps. That tram I got on, that was going down to Cleveley's, which will then come back up before I get mine to North Pier. Got some uh, nice views this morning. Down over there in the distance, I think that all that is North Wales over there in the distance. But on an even clearer day, you could actually see the Isle of Anglesey from here, and also on a clear day, you could see the Isle of Man. Yeah, I think Anglesey is somewhere over there, North Wales. And to actually see the Republic of Ireland, it's have to be on a really, really, really clear day, and you'd have to see it from at least the top of Blackpool Tower, I would say. Out in the Irish Sea you have various wind farms, turbines and all that. Up this end is heading into Cumbria and the Lake District. The Barrow and Furnace is uh, somewhere up there in the distance. Just over here, uh, the town of Cleveleys, just further down there, past Little Bispam. Further up takes you to uh, Fleetwood, which I don't plan on going to today at the moment. As I said, this is a nice area if you want like a, a quieter alternative to Blackpool, if you're having like a holiday or so. Don't you see? 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 Don't you
Last tram B is one of the brush cars, which I'll be getting in about 25 minutes back to North Pier. So this is the tablet display which starts just north of a uh, cabin stop, continues up to uh, Bispam. There are lots of uh, lovely, colourful, impressive displays, installations along this stretch of the promenade. A few, a lot of different things with them. This one looks like it's a bit of a, a supermarket theme with like sort of a green, a bit of a green grocer theme. Well, actually, no, it's more like a factory. That's one. And there are many other ones that are much, that are more further along as well. I'll take a look at some of them. A lot of these have been here literally all the time, actually. There are some further down as well. Just saw last night, like I've said, a Doctor Who one with a few Daleks. These are all, uh, oh yeah, sundials. That's what these are. I'm going to do this as I walk back up to Bispam Station. The tram station, that is. One open sesame up here. Yeah, that's a sort of um, like an Arabian style. Yeah, this one sort of goes like back to like the like the Arab world. Yeah, yeah look at all the tr all the treasure, the gold, and that. So this is like half of the display that I'm showing you. We've got the uh, teddy bears picnic down here. They do change these displays every now and then. And they do a lot of maintenance on them as well. It's well needed, especially. Teddy bears picnic there. One for the uh, Bucana family bar and restaurant. Now here's the one that um, is uh, Coral Island, the uh, amusement arcade on the Golden Mile. Yeah, got like Captain Jack's bar and, gri bar and grill up there. Now here's an impressive one coming up. This one here, the buses in the middle, and a motorbike jumping over. That, of course, has to be Evil Knievel. who were jumped over a load of buses on a bike. Here's a boom, boom, basil brush. Yes, I am. There's a brush. Voice impression. Nah. Eh, 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 eh. Boom, boom. There's, there's a brush. Right there. <clears throat> and, right, anyway, the last one up here is something which everyone gets taught in school. This is from the Egyptian times. Tutankhamun. And I think that Tutankhamun is right here in the middle. Yeah, this is definitely all an Egyptian thing, one, that. And just over there is 718. The tram I'm getting it will be behind that one, coming down from Cleveland's.
my next tram ride. Tram C is in 15 minutes time. So I think it's C. Now, there has been an update. Um, Bolton City 6 was meant to be out, but it's been replaced now by 717. Here's my next tram ride coming down, a balloon. Is 717 coming down. It's like Stops added in for this weekend. Thank you. 
Doing very well down at the Pleasure Beach. Three trams down, just two more to do now. The next one for me will be in about just over 40 minutes' time. So I'll take from here up to uh, um, Central Patch and then to Central Pier or the tower today because they've got extra stops added in along the front. It's starting to spit with rain now. Um, not what I wanted, but not ideal. And here's my fourth one of the day. This is on route. This is Tram A today. That's 700, one of the B fleet. He's abandoned his life. How has he got that? But it's still. Well, the only thing with his weird part. Oh, uh, yeah. He's off Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
is off Saturday. I don't know what he's doing Wednesday. Yeah. But it's with me Thursday, Friday. Flexity not in service there, and there's a 700 that'll be leaving. And it looks like, well, there's a, another, there's the brush car tram coming down. So it's 3 1 then, that's replaced the boat tram today. Right, on to 6 3 1 at all. That's now 5 out of 5.
that's all five trams now done for the day. If it hadn't been raining, that would have been the boat tram today. But two brushes, two balloons and a millennium, and I think that's still a good result for me. We take a look at the old depot at Redby Road. Use my phone because it is raining now. One of the old balloon trams over there and one of the um, Metro Coastline livery. We've got the engineering tram, 754 there. Got um, 241 there, one of the illuminations trams. I can see um, a balloon, I think it's 101, something like that. One of the Millennium trams over there. I can see, I can even see a, I think I can see a brush car in here. And uh, there's part of the uh, twin car set that's in here. Somewhere in there will be the boat tram, which couldn't come out today because of the bad weather. Now, as I said before, when it came to the winter seasons, in the old days, originally they'll just have the single car deckers out, like the centenaries and the brush cars and that. So with the weather quite miserable now as it is, Gonna we'll take a walk up to the central pier, I think. Now, yeah. But not really much I can do when the weather's like this. I've done all five trams at least. And that does count. Well, the rain is now trying to ease. I think it's all moving north. But it wants to anyway. I want to take my camcorder back out. It's looking up towards the North Pier and the Tower. starting to move away now. I'm going to do a couple of uh, Flexity 2 rides. I think I'll do one down to Stargate, then back up to here. I'll be stopping off in a pub later, watch a bit of football before I resume my videoing. That's one of the brush cars down there. And one of the balloon trams coming up. Thank you, we'll see you in that show. <laughs> 
That was a bonus. 680 came out to rescue the passengers that were on brush 631, which apparently had started to smoke. So 631 outfit has now gone back into Ripley Road Depot, and this one is out instead. Now, on uh, this, this is a repainted livery. On one side, you've got the current, well, you've got the Blackpool Transport logo there, and on the other side, you've got the original tramway livery just there. This would normally be attached. Have a towing car at the back, part of the Progress twin car set. I'm having a lovely day despite the weather. Next I'm going to have a ride up to Gint Square. I'm going to do a couple of Fetchley 2 rides now just to make the most of my uh, tram ticket.
left in square now. So you walk over there, roundabout, there's a few Spitfires, which are actually made out of airfields. There's been many other things in the middle of that roundabout before, including the uh, old rocket illuminator tram, which was there, I know, 11 years ago. There, it's made out of uh, airfields. Not as bad as the uh, Spitfire one that was made by James May and his team on Toy Story. Remember that? Tram again. Six two one. Dried up after uh, another look at the Pleasant Beach and the Pit One in there. We've also got um, that's the infusion. It's one of them where you sit in a chair and you let us like a hanging ride. I actually don't like them sort of ones. Um, right there, also Grand Nationals in there. I think the, the Dipper as well. Um, on the Blackpool's newest uh, pleasure beach, that's the, oh, that's there, that's the icon, that's still one of the newest rides around in the pleasure beach. I went on that a couple of years ago, actually. So hopefully another year, I will get another ride on that.
Right, I'm going to head up to me, well the hotel I was stopping in, collect me bag. I'm going to walk along the front rather than jump on the tram. There's 7-Eleven. The Heritage trams are now starting to make their way back to Ripley Road Depot. I've just been in the Manchester pub to uh, watch a bit of footy. And I'm very happy at the moment. <laughs> At least the weather's kept dry now. It doesn't seem to be as busy as what it was yesterday. It is Sunday today. There won't be many kids. There won't be many kids on holiday now with it being out of the holiday season.
go walk to Coral Island. Turn right there. The hotel I was stopping in is literally right near to it. It's passing the central pier now. Right, grab me bag. I'm gonna go and grab a bite to eat, my tea, before I head up to North Station. And then I think one more walk on the front towards the North Pier before I do head up Talbot Road. One more tram ride up to North Pier. They just pulled the body from the side, they don't know whether they're alive. So for the last time this weekend, walking back up Talbot Road to North Station. The train is at 19.18, that'll take us to Leeds. Well, slowly, the development work is starting to come on. The hotel has got its name and that up now, Holiday Inn. It is 
well on its way to opening. Don't know when. I can see down there they've got the tr they've got the tram stop built with the signs North Station on it. So down there will be the tram terminal, and there'll be a walkway from there straight into North Station. This whole area used to be a bit run down. Of course, as you know, here used to be what was a fine fair store, then a gateway, and then of course Wilcrow's, which is uh, sadly now gone, I'm afraid. And I'm waiting in North Station, so my train to Leeds is 1918. <coughs> Get there about just after 20 past nine, and then I've got an hour and 20 minutes connection at Leeds. I thought if I get this train, then at least there's more margin for error in case anything was to happen on the Calderdale line. I get, I've got, let me train out the lead, is uh, just about just near quarter to 11. I get back to Chester Street at about quarter past midnight. Um, things have been a bit um, haywire in here actually, because as I speak, there's two trains that are cancelled. One to um, Liverpool Lime Street, that's cancelled. One to Manchester, that's cancelled. And the next departure is actually not until my departure at 1918. So, uh, a bit interesting. There has been quite a few crew shortages with Northern of recent times. Here's my train here, class 195, 126. This could be, I think this is going to be a packed train, this actually. 3 3 one on the right, double set, that's going to Liverpool. Whereas me, I'm going to West Yorkshire. Hi, it's starting to get dark, so in about 15 minutes the illuminations will actually switch on. I've got meals by Becky B, the second. So it's goodbye to Blackpool for another year. Welcome aboard this Northern Service to York. The next station stop is Putney Fire. be able to see the tower in the distance, a little bit night. Yeah. 
Towards the West Coast Main Line, Preston. <laughs> so that's the Blackpool branch line done. But of course, I can do this on Train Simulator and soon Train Sim World. Now at Accrington and 
that's to there is actually an ex Ace Midlands Trains, Ace Midlands Railway, class 156. You can see the red seat covers on that, which of course is now operated by Northern. now so sort of back in West Yorkshire in Leeds City Station which is how it used to be named it's now 25 past 9 
I've got about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minute wait for my train, 22.43, to Chelsea Street. And it is running on time. Being checked, coming from Liverpool. There's a um, couple of 195s just there. In the meantime, because I've, I've got quite a bit of time to kill, I think I might, well, I might go in the city or even just go at the pub. Anything to kill time. Because there's no point doing a spotting session now when there's nothing that's not much around. Plus, there's a couple of trains not running because of engineering works. And while waiting for me train in Leeds station, look what comes in. LNER 225 set. In the repainted Intercity Swallow livery. The throwback to the 19, early 1990s, when these first came about. I was just waiting on platform 15 and then a very familiar sound of a class 91 at the very front came in. I do miss these trains being on the regular East Coast main line. I can still get on one if I come down here and get on it, but how many more years will these ones still be running? We don't know. Because the Hitachi trains are pretty much taking over a lot nowadays. Uh, compared to the original Intercity Swallow livery, I think above the red line it's more of a it's the brownish colour, it's not as dark as what the original one was. Right, let's go home. It's my train to Chesney Street, 2243 service, it goes to Newcastle. Due home about 20 past midnight. City 225s are right, throw back to the 90s.
well, they're all going off to bed at uh, Level Hill. Bit of wheel spin there, leaving York. To Slippery rails. At this time of the year, it is pretty much common with the leaf fall. A bit slow coming from Durham to Chester Street. I think because of the weather or because of a speed restriction, perhaps. Nevertheless, I am just about to here, just passing uh, the bridge at West Lynn. going out and then I will end the diary tomorrow. So again, to me it's going to be 13, perhaps 13, 12, 13 hours for you. It'll just be a few moments. Booked to go at twelve thirty actually. Yeah, another five minutes. And here I am, where I started yesterday morning. So I'm home. It's now 25 past 1 on Monday the 25th of September. 
the day before my birthday, so the day after filming this, I'll be 32. Another year older for me. And this is where I conclude this fantastic two-parter in Blackpool that I did. So yesterday, I got on the train at Chessie Street, which was uh, 25 minutes late, um, waiting for a driver at Newcastle to take the service. Transpennine still cancelling trains and left, right and centre, and problems elsewhere with crew shortages in that. I'm not surprised, I'd call them worse to Transpennine, to be honest. But um, at least by the time it got to Leeds, it was only 20 minutes late, so I did not miss my connection onto the Blackpool train at or around quarter to nine. And I think from now on, if I draw a Blackpool on the train, I will do my train changing at York, because Leeds is where it gets a bit packed and you've got to like rush on the train to get a seat. But then at least once all that was passed, um, it was alright journey. Packed it was, although quite a few got off at Preston Station. But I ended up getting to Blackpool on time at least. Now I've stopped in many hotels in Blackpool. And this one, the Rockley Hotel, um, it's one of the many now I've stopped in. It was actually a nice one, just for the one night, 40 quid. I was booked to go in a single room. Um, but they said there was a problem with it, so they just, there was a free upgrade to a king size room. So I had a nice king size bed for me to wear bed down for the night. What a lovely little bonus before my birthday. And even um, seen, quite a few, seen a few of my YouTube fans as well. So a lovely couple walking down from North Station who recognised us. They're called Jan and Steve. Lovely couple indeed. They were so, absolutely so thrilled to meet us. Um, well, I'm glad I've, I've met you finally, and I know you're glad you've met me as well. Met up with a couple of my mates, Chris Towers, nice lad, Liam Flynn, nice lad as well. Did some um, tram rides. Um, I did um, one of the tours um, on board, was it 600? I think it was. Well, anyway, at least getting up there board tram during the daytime was good. I did do a session at North Station. Doing sessions at North Station nowadays is getting a bit boring, but I still do them. Um, just 195s and 331s, there was a train from, there was a Liverpool train cancelled, and also the Avanti Pendolino from Birmingham, that was cancelled, sadly. I only try to go there now when, there are when there's a Pendolino, or even a Voyager due. But of course the Voyagers won't be around with Avanti much now, because um, Hitachi... They're building, they've got new trains they're building for um, Avanti West Coast. It's the same as uh, the Azumas and the um, Nova Ones. So all in all, first day in Blackpool was a good day and then I did the Illuminations tour on the night time. Two years ago I did it on the Western Tram. This time I thought I would do it open air on Boat 227. And I think, to be honest, doing it on the board tram with it lit up, it's the best way to do it. Because then you can get the whole, you see the whole world around you. It does get a bit cold on them, so you're better off wearing a jacket. Especially when it gets to where it does about 50 mile per hour, and then the wind just comes towards you. It's like, um, like you're on a bit of a roller coaster. I had a good night's sleep, and then on to yesterday, where I just spent the whole day tram bashing on... In total, I managed to get six of the Heritage trams done. Um, they took the brush car out, 631 at one point, because it started smoking, and brought on 680, I think. Well, anyway, that's a bonus for me. That's what I go to Blackpool a lot for. When they've got a Heritage running weekend, that's what I like to go for, and just ride up and down trams the old-fashioned way. I did some flexity rides as well, but that's just Bombardier stuff. Well, I, 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 just, I, just, I just always love going to Blackpool, and on a Saturday night, the atmosphere is absolute electric. The party atmosphere, that's why everyone in this country goes there. That's why I go there as well. So, tram bashing out the way on Sunday, and then no problems coming home. Normally, I've been known to have trouble coming home from holidays, train delays, Plane delays and that, but this time, no problem, got on the 1918 at North Station. 
took us back up to Leeds. Oh, by the way, on the train from Leeds to Blackpool, we were delayed at Blackburn 10 minutes because, yet again, the 195, the toilet broke, so people had to work, so they made, they dropped permission to stop an extra 10 minutes so that uh, people can go to the toilet. Um, so, reliability on the 195s, maybe not perfect yet. Coming home was no problem. It was quite busy for a Sunday night. A busy, bit more busy than what I would have thought. Um, and a lot got off at Preston, and a lot got off at um, Bradford, and then Leeds, which is what I did, and then at Leeds. And then my train from Leeds back to here ran actually on time. No problem. I was um, not expecting that. But anyway, on time is better than not being on time. Now don't worry, I'm, I'm not completely gone, but I don't really do these outings much now. Mainly holidays and that. My next holiday is next March, um, but there's a long way to go before that. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching these parts. I know it's a bit late in the year by the time I get to upload these, but honestly, I've just been totally busy with work commitments, and it's I'm still halfway through editing my uh, Italy video diaries as I speak. But you'll see this when you see this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you another time. Good afternoon, and good night.